Hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. My name is Usser. We are making our, our way to the Empire. Hi. If you'll recall in the last one, the Espers took off after the Empire. They downed our airship, and we are going to see what kind of damage we did. Because if the plan went otherwise as anticipated, we should have taken over um, Vector. So, all right, in we go. First thing I'm gonna do is heal. Ooh, fire! Hey lady, your place is on fire. All right. Doesn't even notice. Now we'll actually go into the city. Narsh is here, the returners are here. This is an occupied city. The empire is now being occupied. Uh, Bannon? What happened here? Wait, did the espers do this? No, they couldn't have. Yeah. It was like this when we got here. Wow, so you guys didn't even have to do anything. You just marched right in. Awesome. The Emperor is expecting you. This way, please! Boink. In we go. Imperial Palace, third floor. I've lost my will to fight. The Emperor's had a change of heart. Sid! The Espers came to save their friends. When they learned that none of them were alive, they ravaged the entire city. Their shrieks of rage will haunt me forever. We're hanging up our weapons for good. The war is over. Power of those espers, I had no idea. They'll destroy the entire world if we don't do something. We're utterly helpless against them. Must find a way to calm their rage. Should never lust after power, we lack the means to control. Friends, let's speak more over dinner tonight. There's still some soldiers who prefer to keep fighting. Please talk to as many as you can before dinner. Make them understand. Okay, so this is important. This is timed. There's, I believe, 24 you have to talk to, and some of them even fight you. So, we're going to jump on them. We have four minutes until dinner. Now, you get rewards for doing a good job. Between this and there's um, a banquet where they ask you different questions. But it doesn't matter what the people say. All that matters is you get everybody in the time limit. Three soldiers. Four soldiers. Now there's treasure. I believe in that one. There's treasure. No soldiers. Don't get the treasure. You can get it later. It's not important. There's a lot in here. Five. Six. Seven. And you gotta beat him. Uh. Drill. And you wanna beat him quick. Because... The timer's still a ticking. Eight. Don't forget this guy in bed. Oh. Ten. There's a guy in here on the toilet. Poo on peace. Hmm. Okay, so that's eleven so far. We're halfway there. All right, up we go. Long live the Empire. Yeah, he's apparently not really convinced yet. Okay. 13. 14. 15. 16. Now, if you want to, you guys can do this and, like, read the stuff and then, like, load your save and go through it balls to the wall like I'm doing because I want to make sure I get all the soldiers and there's someone else I want to talk to before we um, <clears throat> are forced to go to the meeting. That's 17. 18. 
Uh, is this... Yes, this is where I want to be. Who would have dreamed they were that powerful? Uh, we did. Maybe there's only 21. I thought there was 24, but right now I'm at 21, and I think that's all for people to talk. No, it's not. Okay. Should have gotten here first. Yeah. They don't let you leave. Now, if you have Mog with you, you will learn the in-city dance, but there's another place you can get um, that. So it's not required that you have Mog for this part. Boom, 24. I've got two minutes left. Grab that, a gale hairpin. And then, we're going to go see a scene in here. If I have any time afterwards, we are going to get the treasure. It's Kapka in jail. How dare they put me in a place like this? I just can't believe it. What a bore. Yeah. So I always make sure I get the soldiers first. Like it's really tempting to get the treasure, but the soldiers are more important. Alarm ring, X potion. So I can't get a back attack, and I think it in, the Gale Hairpin increases the rate of um, surprise attacks you get, preemptive strikes. But I'm done, so I'm just gonna come up here and sit on his throne and rub my butt all over it. Yeah, take that, oh, Emperor, yeah, you suck. All right, that evening a banquet was held with the Emperor. This way, please. Yeah, okay. So, we are here. I'll sit with the returners if that's alright. If you have Cyan here, you get a, a kind of special, extra little conversation thing. Last, we could all be together sharing a meal at the same table. Let us make a toast. To who? To what shall we raise our glasses? To our homelands. So you do have to answer these questions right to get the best reward. Uh, as you may know, I've imprisoned Kefka for his crime of using poison against Doma. What do you think we should do with him? Uh, leave him in jail. Let him stew in his cell for a while, then we can decide what to do. Sorry about what occurred in Doma. No one ever dreamed Kefka would use poison. That was inexcusable. Terribly sorry about what was done. Promise to punish Kefka severely and work to eradicate poisons from the world. By the way, with regard to General Celis, um, we trust her whether she spied or not. She's she's one of us. Kefka was lying. She realized the lunacy of this war long before I did and went over to your side. Is there anything else you wanted to ask? Um. Why do you want peace now? I don't think it matters for that one. So I now believe that working together is our only hope. With your permission, I'd like to move on to discussing espers. Okay, let's talk about espers. The empire has been ravaged by the espers that emerge from the sealed gate. They're just too powerful. If we don't do something, they'll tear the entire world apart. You're the one who brought them here in the first place. The Espers came through on their rampage. All of my ambitions faded in an instant. Now I find myself asking why I ever wanted that much power in the first place. To rule the world. Of course, there's no excuse for the atrocities I committed in the name of conquest. By the way, what was the first question you asked me a minute ago? Why do you want peace now? That's right. Anyway, I truly desire peace. I want you to understand that. You must be getting tired. Why well, don't we take a short break? Make sure you say yes. Take a break. You can go talk to the Emperor's special forces. And they will fight you. It's timed, but um, so what? Flash and um. Hey. There we go. Blitz. 
Rising Phoenix. And this should be about over. But you'll be able to learn those, and they're called Imperial Elites in this one, in the Velt with Gal. Just as we thought. Yeah, I'm a badass. Resume the conversation. That's all you really need to do. Is there anything you wish to hear me say? That your war is truly over. That's what I want to... I swear right here and now there will be no more fighting. Now I have a favor to ask. After they attacked us, the Espers flew off northward towards Crescent Island. We have no way of knowing when they'll decide to go on another rampage. We need to find them and convince them to set aside their aggression before that happens. But considering all that the Empire has done to them, I doubt they'll be willing to listen to us. Me too. That's why I need Terra's help. Terra's the only one who can bridge the gap between human and Esper. I have a Magitek armor transport ship moored in the port of Albrook. I had hoped to send it to Crescent Island with all haste. Would you please go on board? Yes. I have my top general and some of his troops accompany as well. General Leo! Leo's badass. I'm General Leo, pleased to make your acquaintance. You actually get to play as him for a very brief period of time, and he's a badass. Didn't I see that guy in Doma? Oh right, he's one of he was the one with principles. <laughs> so that's General Leo, eh? Yeah, if Cyan is here, General Leo will say something to Cyan about not stopping Kefka and Doma. I'll be waiting for you in Albrook. Please find the Espers and convince them to cease their attacks. You're our only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Except this time it's like the old man's asking the young woman to help instead of the young woman asking the old man to help. There goes I go. Locke, thank you. The rest of you stay here. I smell a rat. As do I. It's hard to trust the Emperor just like that. Yeah, no kidding. We shall remain here and watch for anything out of the ordinary. Thanks, you'll be our eyes and ears. Keep your guard up. Right, you be careful too. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to be careful because there's two of us. Just two. And Locke is about 11 levels too low. <laughs> okay. Um, She's got Seraph? Is that what I need her to have? Either Seraph or... Ramu or a strength one. He needs magic power. He also needs um, stamina, so I guess we're, we're okay. Now, this is why we had to talk to troops and say the right things. Bear a message from the Emperor. Due to your decorum at tonight's banquet and your grace in speaking to our soldiers beforehand, the Emperor has decided upon the following. All Imperial troops will be withdrawn from South Figaro immediately, so Figaro's free. In addition, Imperial forces will be withdrawn from the Kingdom of Doma. Not that it matters, because there's only one Doman left, but at least Cyan would have a chance of rebuilding his kingdom if he wanted to. We'll also unlock the armory at the Imperial Observation Post to the east. That's the important one. You're welcome to any weapons and armor within. And this is a personal gift from the Emperor. The Tintinabulum. It's actually really cool compared to the name. Um, when you equip it, you recover HP with every step you take. So it's pretty nice. That said, I don't think I need it right now. We are on our way on a whirlwind adventure. First and foremost, we are going to the Imperial. That's that's the one that we went through where we're like, hey, why are there no soldiers here? Oops, I didn't want to come here. trying to stay out of the sand area because there's only two of us and I don't want to get thumped uh Fira I do not want to get thumped and die before we get to wherever we're going 
Luckily, I'll be gaining a lot of experience now that there's only two of us, so Locke might actually gain a level and become useful. Alright, still no soldiers here. Okay. Uh, I thought there was one in there. It must be the one downstairs. There, the stove has something in it. But, look at all this treasure! A flame tongue, that's that fire sword. 13,000 gil, a reflect ring. Angel wings, X potion, 8,000 gil. So that's up to, what, 21,000 gil? Hermes sandals, elixir, alarm earring, angel ring, and 20,000 gil, so 41,000 gil. We are going to be outfitted whenever we get where we're going. Okay, the city I passed by on the way here is where I need to go. That's where the ship's at. And that's where we're going. Yay, he gained a level. He still sucks. Okay, so I have the most amount of high potions. Um, I could use more remedies, but they're kind of expensive and I don't want to waste all the money that I just got. I don't believe there's any better weapons or armor here because I've already kind of explored this, uh, this continent. Um, might as well go down to the boat. Here's our boat. Hello, Leo! There you are. Another Imperial General and a man I hired in town will be accompanying us as well. Okay. It's Celis and Shadow! Let me introduce them. General Celis and Shadow. <clears throat> Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. We depart tomorrow. In the meantime, I've arranged lodging for you at the inn. Please, try to get some rest. Tell us. Mm. And then she leaves. Because you doubted her, Locke. Please try to get some rest. Okay. I'm working for the Empire, but don't worry. They didn't hire me to kill you. Would you tell me if they had? Orc. Okay. So we go to the inn. We sleep for free. We'll start out well rested. Hello, my good man! What you doing in the middle of the night, Locke? Ah. Trying to find the woman of your dreams. Sell us. Please, why won't you talk to me? I know I doubted you, if only for a moment, but we could still be friends, right? Sell us. And it's the opera music. And then she runs off. She's still a little pissed at you, man. Give her some time. She'll calm down. Alright, now we need to get on our boat. All right, General, let's go. Yes, sir. Chugga, 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 chugga. Engines are running smoothly, sir. Should arrive tomorrow morning. Why don't you rest until then? Okay, we'll do that. And then we're here as Terra. Let's go talk to Leo. It's nighttime. Having trouble sleeping? Yep. I hear your emotions have returned. 
It's strange, isn't it? The Empire used me, controlled my very thoughts, and now here I am, cooperating with the same people. People are people. Not everyone in the Empire is like Kefka. So, what about you? I knew that you were being made to suffer through horrible experiments because one of your parents was an Esper. Yet I did nothing. I'm no better than Kefka. A human and Esper can love one another. Do you think a human and I could love each other? Of course. But I don't even know what it feels like to love someone. You're still young. Someday you'll know it. I'm sure of it. Hmm. There's something going on between Leo and Terra, huh? But I want to know now. <laughs> Who's there? Thought I'd sleep out under the stars. Did you hear what we were talking about? I didn't mean to listen in. So... I can't help you. Those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Terra. There are people in this world who've chosen to kill their own emotions. Remember that. greatest treasure hunter reduced to this Blurg! <laughs> apparently he's got motion sickness all right general we're almost to crescent island when we make landfall we'll split into two groups i'll go with celis terry you go with lock and shadow if you find any clues as to where the espers may be hiding, report back at once. Yes, sir, General, sir! Let's go. Shadow. Bork! Um, lock? I, um... Come on. Ah, so now he's the one being pissy. See, she still cares. And we make landfall. All right, I got to equip Shadow. And Shadow's level 22, so he's actually useful, unlike Locke. Now up this way, there's a city. Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're going to equip ourselves with some new gear. Golden shield. I got plenty of them. Tiger masks are really good. Um, so let's get two for those two. I've got enough golden helms. Uh, mystery veil. I need two of that. Power sash. So the Power Sash has some really good stat mods, but I'm going to get the Gaia gear because the Gaia gear absorbs Earth, and that's pretty useful. And then... Alright, so we're fully equipped. Um, we need to come up here and say hello. What brings you young folks to see me? An elderly gentleman who has spent his whole life pursuing the secrets of monsters. Strago, so he's a blue mage. Hmm. Haven't heard that word in years. Espers, huh? 
So you know about espers? Uh, nope. Can't say I do. Don't know a thing. Not one thing. Uh, well, he's clearly lying. Something's fishy here. Yeah, he's a bad liar. Grandpa! Hey! What do you think you're doing, young missy? In her pictures, she captures everything. Forests, water, light, the very essence of the thing she paints. Realm. Grandpa, who are they? Are they friends? Can they use magic too? Shush! What a cute doggy! Back off, he bites. Go to your room. Why do I have to go to my room? You never let me have any fun. Because I said so. Now shoo. Fine. An interceptor just goes with her. Oh dear, she seems to have taken a liking to your dog. Hmm. Whack. I imagine that door got slammed. That child. My apologies. It's fine. He usually doesn't take to other people, though. Anyhow, I'm terribly sorry, but I really don't think I can be of any help to you folks. I uh, uh, see. We're just your ordinary quiet little village. You're not going to find anyone who knows about these desperate things here, I'm afraid. Not in Thasma. Hmm. There's something strange about this place. Let's have a look around the village. Yeah, let's do that. Thanks for your time. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Interceptor! Bork. Bye-bye! Bork, bork. Alright, so we're gonna have a look around the village. There are things that are happening. Hmm, where did that voice come from? Fire! Fire! Huh? Uh-oh! Come back here, you little shit! And no, it was not him. <clears throat> he just won't let you into that mansion. Hmm, where did that voice come from? Mama, I got an owie. Oh, alright. Cure. Hi! Eo, yes, I think I left the medicine in the curio cabinet. Mama, why won't you use cure on me? They can use magic. I think those are the only two that's required viewing. Um, now I should be going to the inn, however. I'm gonna save it. It doesn't feel like we've done much, but there's been a lot of conversation and like storytelling going on. And that'll about do it for this episode. We will come back and continue our search of the es for the espers in the next one. That will be all. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see whenever I post anything new. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you all in the next one. Bye!